Hey everyone, welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. Hopefully you're having a great day. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to build a set registry of Eisenhower dollar coins and what year you're gonna have a real hard time finding, and that's 1973. There were coins made at the 1973 at the Philadelphia Mint, at the Denver Mint, and three different coins made from the San Francisco Mint. Now, before we get into that, I want to apologize for the infrequent uploads on the channel. Missed a couple of days here. I uh, thought I was getting back on track, then I had some setbacks. I had to take a few days off from uploading these coin videos, but I'm back now, I think, but I've said that before, so let's see what I can do. Hopefully I can string some days together in a row. Now, if you're a fan of the Foreign Showcase, you're gonna like this one right here. This is the coin that I saved for the end of the video, and we've got a five francs coin from France. Uh, and what's interesting about this coin, probably the most interesting part of it, is its weight. Now this coin right here weighs just three grams, weighs about the same as a penny. Now it's got a rather large size to it. The key to its weight is its metal content. It's actually made out of tin. So if we have time, we'll throw it on the scale, but if not, we'll just kind of look at the design. All right, now let's get back to it. The first warning uh, that I'm going to give you about the Eisenhower dollars is that they are not all silver. That's a lot of misconception that people have when coming across these coins. They see that they're really big. They automatically associate the Ike dollars with silver. There are some silver Ike dollars out there, but not all of them. If you've got one that doesn't have a mint mark or has a D mint mark indicating that it was made at the Denver Mint, it definitely doesn't have silver. There's no chance that it's got silver in it because none of those coins did. They are just the copper nickel clad coins. Those one will have a weight of 22.68 grams and be 91.67% copper and the remainder mostly nickel at 8.33%. Now, that might make you think, oh, if I've got a S mint Eisenhower dollar, that must mean it's silver. Well, that's not necessarily the case either because there are three different coins that came out from the uh, San Francisco mint. There's the uncirculated silver dollar coins. There's the proof Eisenhower dollar coins in which they made two different types. So we've got the uncirculated, we've got the proof clad, and we've got the proof silver. So as far as the mintages for those uh, coins go. Let's get right into that. Uh, just kind of flip these ones over so you can see what the general design looks like. Unfortunately, I don't really practice what I preach here uh, with building a set registry of Eisenhower dollars as I don't have any 1973 ones myself. So uh, they are very hard to find as we'll talk about right here with the mintages. At the Philadelphia Mint, there are 1,769,000. Same mintage for the Denver Mint for 1973. Interestingly, there were more that were produced that were uncirculated silver coins. There were 2 million, excuse me, 1,883,000 that were produced that were uncirculated silver. And as far as for the proof coins, there were 2,760,000 that were produced that are the silver, uh, excuse me, the proof clad. And there are 1,000,000. Uh, 13,000 that are the silver proof. So that might have been a little bit confusing for you. Uh, just know that the mintages that I said are very low, especially compared to the prior year in which we're talking about 47, 68, 75, 113 million, even for the uh, 113 million was the highest in the series. And that was for the bicentennial uh, type two Eisenhower dollar that came out in 1976. Now, if you're also trying to find that 1975, uh, just give up right now because there aren't any 1975. They did make uh, Eisenhower dollars in 1975. However, they are making them for the next year to celebrate the bicentennial. So those ones, which you've probably seen before, are going to have two dates on the obverse of the coin. You'll see 1776 and 1976 down here at the bottom. Highest mintage, bison, uh, highest mintage Eisenhower dollar will be the bicentennial ones. Lowest mintage are going to be the um, 1973s. So I'll just give you one more warning as well before we transition into the foreign showcase. Don't get tricked into buying these loose uh, S stamped San Francisco mint coins on eBay because they might not necessarily be silver coins. You've really got to put your hands on it to check it out to make sure that it is actually silver. You cannot tell unless you weigh it 
or if you get a good look on the side. And there are a lot of people selling the Eisenhower dollars on eBay without the side profile. So you can't really verify for yourself that it is a true silver coin, unless it does have the uh, original packaging with it. So the original packaging will be what's known as the blue Ikes or the brown Ikes. And that's just the uh, uncirculated silver mint. They came with either the uncirculated silver coins came with a blue token and the brown Ikes are the uh, proof silver coins, which came in a brown box. So if you hear silver, if you hear blue Ikes or brown Ikes, that refers to original casing that the uh, silver coins came in. Now let's get into this one right here. All the foreign coin showcase uh, enthusiasts out there are going to like this one right here. Let me get my setup and we'll get into this. So they made this coin from 1945 until 1952. Flip it over, we'll see the date right here on the reverse of the coin. Up at the top, we see RF for Republic of France. We also see the denomination, which is five francs. Now it's hard to see on this coin, but um, it is a, a off metal content. It's made out of tin. So the tin, excuse me, it is made out of aluminum. Man, I messed that up earlier in the video. This coin is made out of aluminum and not tin. Uh, so if you tuned out earlier, you wouldn't be able to see this correction. But we're talking about a aluminum coin that has a weight of 3.5 grams, diameter 31 millimeters. On the obverse of the coin, we see a laureated head uh, facing the left. We also see Republic of France going around the outside and then the engraver's initials at the bottom. So this is the best I can do for a zoom right now, but just take my word for it that the engraver's initials are down there at the bottom. There will be different mint marks for this coin. So if you have no mint mark, it means it was made at the Monet de Paris. If you have the B mint mark, it was made in Normandy, France. And if you have the C mint mark, it was made in Midi Paris in France. Now mine right here is dated 1945, the first year that they came out. Uh, there were 95 million of them made without the mint mark, 6 million made with the B mint mark, and 2 million made with the C mint mark. The highest year of production is going to be 1949 with the no mint mark, in which there are 203 million. As far as the value of these coins go, since there are hundreds of millions of them made, they're not going to be worth any money, uh, anything above face value, especially because they were demonetized to make way uh, for some other coins in France, and then that switched over, and then they started using the euros. So a cool, collect cool uh, collector item for you if you're into the foreign coins, but don't expect to get big money for it, especially if someone's drilled holes in your coins like someone did for mine. All right, everyone, hopefully you enjoyed the video. We talked about this cool five francs coin made out of aluminum, and then we talked about these Eisenhower dollars right here for most of the video. Uh, if you're looking for the 1973s, those are going to be hard to find. 1975, well, those will be impossible. Thank you very much, everyone, and see you tomorrow, hopefully, on the Big D Coins channel.